All right. Hi guys. We're doing composition tips today. Very basic. Um, they're so basic that you can break the rules because it's art and, you know, rules don't really exist. But these are just things you might want to keep in mind. I'm going to be using basic shapes today, like squares, rectangles, you know. Um, yeah, let's get started. So, if this was my piece, it would be a little boring. Not because of the shapes, but because you want to have your shapes overlapping, right? So, I don't know, squares and rectangles. Um, city landscape, okay? So, let's say you want to make a city. You have your long building and a skyscraper. That's fine. But this thing here is called kissing. Also, I want to apologize if there's background noise. That probably will be background noise, just letting you know. Anyway, kissing. You want to avoid kissing. Stop it. Don't, don't, don't do that. It's boring. What you could do instead is, I don't know, have your long building and have your skyscraper and they're overlapping. And you might even have like cars in front of your long building. Oh, look, there's a person. You know, overlapping makes a piece a little more interesting, a little more satisfying to look at. Um, floating shapes, buildings that are just touching, or people that are just touching. Like, let's say your character is leaning up against a wall. You don't want to have like a two dimensional wall and then a person just. <laughs> with a very long arm touching it. Like, make your wall, like, three-dimensional and have your person leaning against it, you know? Overlap. Okay, keep that in mind. You can use this for all kinds of stuff as well. Uh, our next point, I'm just keeping this here. Because, look, this is my background, right? Okay. This is good, but what you could do is crop, crop your image. So here's my long building, my skyscraper. What I could do to make it more interesting is have the background kind of doing this. So we don't have floating shapes. Because like, I don't know, maybe you've seen um, sort of internet artists, uh, just starting, they draw that person, who in this case is a rectangle, and then they have a colored background. And that's all well and good, but what you could do is have your person kind of, you know, the background kind of does that instead, you know? So, again, I guess this does tie into overlap. And that's alright. Just gonna fix the focus. Um... But just keep that in mind as well. Cropping your images makes them more interesting to look at. Especially, like, because these are pretty basic shapes, so I don't know. Maybe with a circle and a star and a square. Like, that's all well and good. But if you crop it like this, it's probably more interesting to look at for the viewer. Yeah? Keep that in mind. I'm gonna move the light closer. Okay. Thirdly, rotating. So back to our little favorite shapes, the rectangle, the square, and I'm gonna do an arrow just to really show you what I mean, rotating. Um, this is pretty boring, in my opinion. Um, you want to avoid keeping your shapes or your people or whatever upright. Unless you're doing like a landscape with a bunch of trees that naturally point upright. Rotate. So your rectangle might do this and your arrow might be lying down because he's tired and then your square does this. It's a little more dynamic. Think about this when you're drawing people as well. Like unless you're just learning anatomy, which is all well and good, try to avoid having your person like this. They could be doing poses and stuff. Um, I might do another video on that another time. But just think about it. Rotate. Rotate. Good job. Fourthly, you need to create a vocal point. So, 
let's say you want to make your square your vocal point. Don't make other squares the same shape hanging around your first square. Because then the person's like, which square do I focus on? Okay? Don't make your <laughs> your other squares the same color as your first square or your main square. Don't. Because then they're all the same. What you want to do is do a mix of these two don'ts. So you do your big main square, and then you have other squares that are different colors floating around, and everyone knows. And hey, don't forget, you can crop it. You can make your main square off-center, and people still know. This is the boy I'm supposed to be looking at. Alright? Actually, off-center was supposed to be the next tip. <laughs> I'll get into that later. Also, in terms of vocal points, keep this in mind when you're doing, I don't know, like, a city. This is my go-to now, I guess. Cities. So, if you want to make, let's say this building is your, your main guy, what a lot of people do is they have the buildings around, but they make it the same color. And then the viewer, like, they know. Their line of sight follows. They get to this main building and they're like, okay. But their eye also naturally pulls to the other building and it makes it much less impactful than it could be. You know? So think about color. Think about shape and size. Good job. Finally, like I said earlier, you can make your vocal point off-center. And it still looks interesting, right? So your square could be way over here and like cropped, but people still know. Oh, okay, cool. That's it. That's that's what, what I'm supposed to be looking at. It makes it way more interesting, trust me. Because if you have, I don't know, you know those portraits that are just, you know, people and then their background and that's it. What makes them interesting is the actual painting, the technique. But if you were to do this, like in this style, it's pretty boring. Whereas if, I don't know, I made it off center, boop, and then I had the background like this, wow, that's a neck. It's still like a little more satisfying for the viewer, you know? Off center. Do it. Okay, so our tips were overlap. So remember, overlap. You crop. So you don't have to keep everything in the image. You rotate. You make a vocal point. and make it off-center. Which ties into cropping, I guess. That's it. That's, 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 that's all you gotta do. Just five tips. Pretty simple. Good luck.